Hello friends, we are here with a brand new 99 cent store haul and as you can see everything I'm showing you right now is all name brand. The only item that was $1.99 is the Reese's Pieces International Delight and I did not pay, mind paying $1.99 because this is a lot cheaper than what um, I would pay at Walmart, etc. And I have not tried the Reese's Pieces, so I thought it would be really fun to give it a try. I only picked up one because I wasn't sure how I would like it. And also, the expiration date is February 8th, 2020. So I just grabbed one of these and um, I'm going to start doing reviews and so forth because I think that will help um, a lot of our friends know whether to pick up items and so forth because, like I said, I have no idea what this tastes like. And if it's good, I mean, I would have hauled more, but since I don't know what it tastes like, I just hauled one. So everything else is going to be 99 cents that we're showing right here. All right, I did pick up Land Lakes lactose-free half and half, 40 calories per serving. This is one quart. Expiration date is February 3rd, 2020. So I thought that was a decent um, expiration date. And again, since I've not tried it, I just picked up one and this was 99 cents. All right. It has been a while and I'm going to be honest with you. Green tea is not my favorite from Gold Peak. I absolutely love the diet tea from um, Gold Peak, but you know, you cannot be choosy. I mean, the green tea is pretty decent. I just don't like that. It's hundred calories per serving. So I dilute it. That's just my own personal preference. 52 fluid ounces. Each one was 99 cents. And let's take a look at our expiration date, which, huh, let's see if I can find it. If not, I'm not going to trip out. Usually it's somewhere on the top, but I'm not seeing it. All right, moving on to the Hershey's Caramel. This is brand new. It came through the 99 cent store. It's a dairy whipped topping. I have tried the chocolate and I do like the chocolate. So the caramel looks like it would be fun, especially um, if you like doing your homemade caramel macchiatos and stuff like this. This could definitely add some flavor to your coffee bar. All right, seven ounces. Expiration date is February 20th. Let me make sure that's right. February 20th, 2020. And I'm going to try and get this expiration date for this Gold Peak Tea. February 13th, 2020. It is super faint. They wrote it in white. Um, the camera is not even picking it up, but... A little bit. No, the camera's not even picking it up. All right, so that's the expiration date on those. And like I said, since green tea is not exactly my favorite, I just hauled two. But it's nice to see Gold Peak tea back. Another new item that came through the 99 is this Holy Guacamole. I've never tried this, but I thought, you know what, for 99 cents, I am going to pick up two. It is green avocado with salsa, and it's mild. Cannot wait to try it. And I only picked up two because the expiration date. These are each 99 cents. February 2nd, 2020 is the expiration date. Each one is 10 ounces. And for 99 cents, I thought, why not? So, um, like I said, I'm gonna, definitely going to get better at doing reviews because sometimes, like I said, I don't know whether I should haul more of something or less of something, especially when it is a new item. But these looked really good and the price was right. So hauled just two of them. And then we did do a large cheese haul, but I absolutely love Cracker Barrel cheese and their provolone cheese is really good. It's only 60 calories per slice. Each package is seven ounces with the resealable package, which I like as well. And these freeze excellent. All right, let's take a look at our expiration date. And... Expiration date is February 7th, 2020. I did pick up two more of the family size 16 ounces for Ollie, and this is a honey smoked turkey breast by Oscar Meyer. Expiration date is February 2nd, 2020, which is why I only picked up two because the expiration date is actually coming up. I cannot believe it's already the end of February. Absolutely crazy. All right, Athenos fat free feta cheese. This is absolutely an excellent deal for 99 cents, especially when they bring in the large 12 ounce tubs. So I did pick up two and it's the traditional fat free and this is so good on salads, etc. Sell by February 16th, 2020. And then I just picked up only one of the Poly O Parmesan cheese. This is five ounces, only 99 cents. Expiration date says sell by February 16th, 2020. All right, I did pick up a lot of Athenos came through the 99 cent store. And this is the hummus and black olive. And this is 25% less fat. This is seven ounces. And let's take a look. 
Expiration date is February 28th. And then I thought how cool I found roasted red pepper and seven ounces, again, 60 calories per two tablespoons. And March 4th, 2020 is our expiration date on that. And then I also did pick up these green giant baby cut carrots with an expiration date of February 17th, 2020. Now my experience with these baby carrots they don't last as long as the expiration date says. You have like about a week, honestly. Um, that's been my experience with them. So if you've had a better experience, please let me know. All right. I was glad to see that these are back. I absolutely love the hot and spicy spears. And this got a little bit messed up because of... I carry a cooler <laughs> in my car. So sometimes the items get wet with the ice. And so it kind of did mess up the um, label, but that's okay. 24 fluid ounces. So it is 1.5 pints and I love the hot and spicy pickles. So good to just snack on and it is low calorie. You just have to watch for the sodium. February 2nd, 2020 is the expiration date on those. And that is why I only hauled two. Now, if you're a friend on our Instagram, you'll see I found the huge plastic tubs of the Claussen regular pickles, and those were only 99 cents, which is a great deal, but I'd much rather haul the hot and spicy. Okay, so that does cover a lot. I mean, a lot of stuff came through the 99, and everything we're seeing is all name brand, and everything right here was 99 cents, so some pretty awesome deals. And the frozen fruit is back. So I did haul two bags of the Dole Mandarin oranges in the resealable bag. It says live well, all natural fruit, excellent source of vitamins A and C, naturally gluten-free, non-GMO. And this is a pound each. Each one was only 99 cents. And I absolutely love the resealable bag. Um, it says best by November 7th. I'm sorry, Best Buy November 22nd, 2020. What an awesome expiration date. And it gets even better. We also have SpongeBob SquarePants with frozen fruit. You get blueberries, pineapple, and strawberries. And these, this is 10 ounces. So I did haul two bags of these, and I probably should have hauled more. Again, each one was 99 cents. The resealable bag, which I love. And let's take a look at our expiration date. We have an expiration date of September 7th, 2020. So these are some really awesome expiration dates. If I run into these again, which I probably will, I am going to definitely haul more. All right. I do love the fat, I think it's called, yeah, the fat rabbit. This is a new um, lemon feta frenzy, 10 grams of protein. And this is vegetarian made superfoods. 11 ounces, and this is roasted zucchini, roasted sweet potatoes, broccoli, florets, and chicken peas. Chickpeas, chicken peas, ha, huh? chickpeas, topped with roasted onions, feta, and parsley, and a lemon artichoke sauce over red quinoa, yellow lentils, and couscous. Yay! So, yes, I do love these. And for 99 cents, you cannot beat the price. And let's get our expiration date. Expiration date is going to be June 11th, 2020. So not a whole lot of new stuff came through the 99 cent store as far as frozen. And like I said, I'm just, I'm not going to be hauling stuff just to haul it. Um, especially if it gets, starts to get repetitive, which right now it's starting to get a little bit repetitive, but, um, yeah, this was all the new name brand items that did come through as far as frozen goes. And I did pick up these two blueberry muffins for 49 cents a piece. And they're just, they're just Hostess blueberry muffins. They were, like I said, 49 cents a piece. Expiration date, January 30th, 2020. I figured my husband could take these on the go. And yeah, those will definitely get eaten. These are back. And it's nice to see that these are not $1.99 anymore. And this is the Do Dulce Fru Fruta. Chocolate melting wafers, eight ounces, and I have not, I don't know if I've hauled the dark chocolate. I may have, I can't remember. But anyways, they're no longer trying to sell these for $1.99. They're back to 99 cents. So I did pick up just one. And actually, I just like to eat these by themselves as chocolate. So that's what I do. But also with Valentine's Day coming, you can definitely make your own chocolate dipped strawberries. So that is pretty awesome. All right, let's look at our expiration date, December 6, 2020. That is another awesome expiration date. Okay, so funny thing is, I actually saw one of the 99s pop open this box right here and was selling 
two packages for 99 cents. And I was just thinking, wow, are you serious? So of course I did not buy that. So at the next 99 cent store that I went to, they were selling the box, each one for 99 cents. So it varies from 99 to 99, I guess, depending on the manager, but there's no way I was gonna buy two packages of this for 99 cents when I knew if I went somewhere else, I could find a box. So that's what I did. And I hauled two. This is the new Kellogg's Nutrigrain Kids Soft Baked Mini Breakfast Bars with no artificial flavors. It's grape tastic, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. You get five 1.3 individual pou pouches, and net weight is 6.5 ounces. All right, let's see what our expiration date is. Expiration date is February 13th, 2020, so that's not a bad expiration date, and I definitely love how it's an easy box to open and you can just grab and go, so totally worth it for 99 cents a box. Okay, these goldfish were $1.99, and you do get nine lunch packs in these, and the expiration date is February 1st, 2020. Not much I can say about these. Um, these are baked with whole grain, epic crunch, tortilla crunch, and these are nacho flavored, and I have hauled these before. All right, we did run out of taco chips, so I just picked up the Granny Goose, and it says best before June 6, 2020. It's 100% white corn tortilla strips, nine ounces. All right, we do have the Belveda Cocoa Cream and the Belveda Soft Filled Strawberry. It says a delicious morning stack, morning snack, nine grams of whole grain. And I have hauled this before, so it is a repurchase. Um, each box does have, let's see, 5.5 5 packs of 1.76 ounce packages individually, and net weight is 8.8 .8 ounces. Expiration date on the Cocoa Cream ones are March 3rd, 2020, and on the strawberry, it is, let's see, February 16th, 2020, and each one was 99 cents. I also did pick up these um, Dandy Pack Walnut halves and pieces for my husband. He does like nuts, and these are three ounces. I just realized how that sounds. Anyways, never mind. All right, moving on. Expiration date is November 19th, 2020. So yeah, I thought that was a decent deal for three ounces of walnuts for 99 cents and also great if you're planning to bake for Valentine's Day or whenever. So picked up those. And I also picked these up for $1.99. And last week I did haul the original and this week I hauled the birthday cake. So you do get 16 individually wrapped cakes, frosted yellow cake with creamy filling. This is a repurchase. I have hauled these before. And this is 25.96 ounces or a pound and so a pound and a half. Um, again, $1.99, not a bad deal at all. So I did not mind paying $1.99. I do remember back in the day when we could haul these for 99 cents, but that was back then. All right, let's check out our expiration date. All right, I think it should be on the front. Hold on, let me check it out. And it is February 13th, 2020. So that's a pretty good expiration date considering it comes from the 99. And I'm actually surprised it's actually that far out. So pretty cool. It has been a minute since I have hauled the Hostess Mini Muffins in chocolate chip. I have not seen these for a while. So I was pleasantly surprised to run into them yesterday. And I did haul two of them. Um, you do get five pouches. They're still selling these for 99 cents a piece. So that is another plus. And these are each 8.25 ounces. And let's see, it says real chocolate, peanut free, no trans fat, no artificial flavors, no high fructose syrup, and baked in the USA. All right. Also, I have hauled it in blueberry and they're good in blueberry as well. February 13th, 2020 is the expiration date on these. So this is what came through as far as name brand items for the 99 and the quote unquote um, hot VIP items. And again, everything was 99 cents with the exception of the Pepperidge Goldfish. That was $1.99 and the Hostess um, Large 16 cupcakes. So not bad. Now we're going to get into my favorite part of the haul. 
All right, I have hauled these before and I found them again. Spring Valley Adult Gummy Calcium, 500 milligrams. And you get 100 of these for 99 cents. First thing I did was check out the expiration date. Expiration date is June 2020. So this is absolutely an excellent deal. And like I said, I have had these before. So it was awesome to find them again. All right. I also did pick up more of the Cream Shop, their brush, I'm sorry, their two powder brushes. I absolutely love these brushes, and I'm actually using the powder and the blush brush right now as we speak. So, I mean, to be able to haul Cream Shop for 99 cents a piece and to have these nice brushes is awesome because... I've seen the cream shop at Walmart. I've seen the cream shop at CVS and you're not going to be able to get these brushes for 99 cents there. So totally cool to find those. And speaking of makeup, I did pick up this and this is Beauty Benefits Mascara and I wanted to give this a try. It's been repackaged. Definitely I'm loving the black and pink. Those are my favorite colors and this is in black. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm definitely going to start doing reviews on 99 cent store products um, because some are definitely worth the money and some are just so worth skipping. So we will see about the mascara. I did haul this last week and I did haul it again because um, someone actually wants this. So um, this is for that person. And this is the Maybelline, the City Kits Urban Light. And I will say one thing I do... I've already busted mine open. I do like the blush. And if you're going for um, not a really heavy look, this palette is definitely um, the palette for you. It can give you a really natural look with just a little bit of highlight. It's definitely not a MAC palette where it's going to go on really strong and heavy. So um, definitely fun for spring. And I'm de definitely digging um, these pastels. I happen to like the metallics. So yeah, um, I do recommend it. So anyways, found that. And let's see. Oops. All right. Because I am looking for <laughs> mascara, I also picked up Smoke in Mirrors. And this is the volumizing mascara. I want to see which one I do like better. If I don't like any of the ones from the 99, I'm just going to go to L'Oreal and get Voluminous because that's the one I usually get. But I thought I would give these two a try as well. All right, speaking of vitamins, I did pick these up for my husband, and these are the Centrium Multi Gummies for men. Um, there are 70 gummies in here, and they are $3.99, but they are cheaper. I mean, I guess I could have gotten them cheaper if I did, like, the whole coupon thing, but I don't. So, anywho's. Um, expiration date is August 2020. All right, they also had the Purell Hand Sanitizer. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs. This is the big one, the eight fluid ounces, and only 99 cents. So I did just grab one because I'm constantly using hand sanitizer going in and out of the 99s. All right, this is super cute, and I could not pass it up. I thought, how cute, how fun. Novelty Highlight and Ball Pin set and I love it because um, that lipstick is a pin so I'm definitely going to be putting that in my purse too cute and it is nice and small and it won't take up a lot of room again this is definitely a cute little um, I want to I say stocking stuffer um, Easter basket stuffer or a cute little valentine um, to put in a beauty bag and then the other two are actually highlighters so I just thought it was too cute for 99 cents all right, um, speaking of too cute, but not being 99 cents, Easter has arrived at the 99, and I absolutely fell in love with her, even though she has no chonies on. But she is super cute, and I absolutely love her pink and white gingham little outfit. I love the fact that her ears... Oops, sorry, Mrs. Peter Rabbit. Um, I do love that her ears are bendy and have that wire, so you can pretty much move them around. And I thought for $2.49, why not? And I'm definitely loving the lace on her little apron. And I could not leave her spouse behind, so I picked him up as well. And I love how his bow tie matches her. They all, they just match, and they're just too cute. And he has the blue and white gingham, and you have the cute two little buttons. And his ears also move. So each one was $2.50, and yeah, the pair is super cute. So for $5, I mean, honestly, 
I think it's a great deal, especially after going to several stores and filming their Easter stuff. Um, I can definitely say you would pay more at other places for this couple, more than $5 and plus tax. And sticking with Easter, I thought this was really cute. I'm definitely loving the white pom-pom tails, and I absolutely adore the pink and white gingham, the yellow and white gingham, and the um, purple and white gingham, and it just says Happy Easter. Um, the reason why I'm starting to haul Easter stuff is because one stuff, you know how it goes. If you don't get it then and there, you're risking not getting it at all. So hauled that sign for 99 cents and then i thought this was really cute as well i definitely am digging the easter egg hunt and i love the fact that this is a nice pink glitter and i just like the pastel eggs so for 99 cents i thought that i could definitely find a place for these whether i use them as table decor or where i'm going to put them not sure but they will find a home all right, they do have these necklaces. And like I said, what I do is I use these necklaces for lights outside on my planter. So as soon as I'm done with, as soon as we transition, which will be after February, March, I'm gonna start decorating and these will go on my planter outside. Um, actually, I probably need to get another one. I don't know why I didn't get two at once, but really cool deal for 99 cents. And actually, like I said yesterday, uh, Big Lots, I mean, this is something that I can keep on my planter, you know, all the way through spring. And if I wanted to, even summertime. So definitely going to stock up on a couple of strands of these. I tried not to go too crazy on the Easter stuff because I don't remember what I have Easter wise, but I just fell in love with this pale pink and it says Easter egg hunt. And I just really like the background. Um, hopefully I'm not duping items so <laughs> you never know because I always forget and then it does have the pink ribbon to hang it or you can just have it free oops it will free stand almost broke that not cool all right and I thought these were too cute these bows and this is actual ribbon that's why I picked it up for 99 cents it is a silk polka dot bow 6.7 by nine inches and for 99 cents I was really surprised that they were not trying to charge a dollar 49 for these because like I said it's real ribbon and it is really really cute all right I picked it up in the pink and I had to get it in the Tiffany teal not sure where I'm gonna put these yet um I don't know I don't know where I'm gonna put these but I do know that I need to pick up two more because Actually, I do know where I'm going to put these. So yeah, I do need to pick up two more and hopefully they will have them because like I said, I just think it's a really great deal for 99 cents. And let's keep going with Easter. All right. Hold on. Now this guy was hard to find. Why? Because I've, I saw him everywhere last week. And when I went to get him this past week, I couldn't find him completely sold out so I actually went out of my okay I go to a different bunch of 99 cent stores I mean from all over the place and if I can't find something then I will start going you know you don't have to go out of Orange County and I ended up at a 99 cent store that I don't normally go to and they had um, both of the styles and this is the style that I chose now I am going to find some type of ribbon to put around his neck and to make him just a little bit more Eastery. But like I said, <laughs> I had a hard time finding this guy and I definitely wanted him because he is so cute. And this was $2.49. So you might find him where the garden items are or you might find him in the Easter section if you're on the hunt for him. All right, people are on the hunt for this galvanized milk can and I don't blame them. It is super cute. <laughs> Um, again, I had to go to a whole different 99 cent store area to find this. That's where I found the rabbit and that's where I found the milk can because um, here where I normally go, those stores were completely sold out and I definitely wanted this galvanized milk can because $1.99. So again, you might find this, I mean, you should find it either in the spring section or in the garden <laughs> section. I found this in the garden section where the rabbit was um, as well. And for the price, I think it is too cute. And going back into Easter, these are each only 99 cents and you do get 
Of course, I love the yellow glittery egg. I absolutely adore the pink little bunny, and I think it is a really nice stem for 99 cents. You get all of that. And I picked it up in the lavender, and then I also picked it up in the pink, and look how cute. And then, of course, you do get the yellow egg, and then you get the white bunny. So, not sure how I'm going to arrange these yet, so just putting them in there to hold them, but super, super cute. And I am so glad um, that I was able to find this item, because these sold out again. <laughs> I saw them last week. I mean, I saw them everywhere I went last week. This week, when I was ready, you know, when I wanted to buy it, could not find them anywhere. And I did pick up another St. Ives Fresh Skin because I do like this, and it is $2.99. It is cheaper at the $0.99 cent store um, than at Walmart, and I know if you coupon, you can probably get it cheaper, but I do not coupon at this moment. All right, so I like it. I recommend it. It's 6 ounces. I also do like these candles. I think they burn pretty well, and this is the Pink Lemonade, and I love the pale pink and the white. Um... This one was $3.99, and like I said, um, honestly, I don't have a problem with any of the 99 cent store candles, except for a couple, which I will be reviewing, and those you will not see me hauling. Um, this one I have hauled, I think we've hauled, I think I've hauled this twice in pink lemonade, and then twice in cranberry something, so yeah, I definitely do like this, and it does give off a really good throw, so... All right, and this was 99 cents, and this is, of course, from Walmart, and this is Strawberry Preserves. This is new, six ounces, single wick. Mm. It smells so good. It That's why I had to pick it up. I was like, this smells so good. So we'll see if the throw is good, but usually Mainstays gives a decent throw. And for Ollie, these were only 99 cents, so I did get him the dog treats, and they're in the shape of a heart. And this is going to be Ollie's little Valentine's Day present from Mommy and Daddy. How cute. They look, they're so cute. Anyways, um, 99 cents, and um, it says vet recommended, sourced and processed entirely in the United States. As you can see, it has a big USA right there, so cool. And then Carrie... Um, told me that um, her dog absolutely loves this so we decided um, you know why not try it and see if Ollie likes it it's a buffalo hoof nature land premium dog treats all natural treat for dogs and that's what I definitely like to see um, best by July 2023 and it's in Chatsworth California so again made in the USA so we will definitely see if Ollie likes this all right, there are some other items that were super cool, and I cannot wait to show them to you right now. Funny thing, while I was sick in bed on Monday, I was actually looking for a new trash bin, and I was on Kohl's, and they want, like, for some trash bin, they want, like, $29.99 for the bathroom. And I thought these people are absolutely crazy. Well, I went to the 99, and they had Marilyn Monroe. So they had two different styles, which again, I hope you're following us on Instagram because I did take picture of the two different styles. This is the one that I chose. This is one of her iconic poses and $3.99. And then that's what it looks like inside. And I just was like, wow. Now someone posted, I think in the Facebook group that I'm a mod of that this would make a really cute Easter basket for um, a teen or adult that is into Marilyn Monroe. And yes, what a great idea. You can totally stack like the fake grass up to there, or depending on what you're giving them, you might not even need fake grass, but you could totally make this into an Easter basket. And that would be an awesome Easter basket. I know I would be thrilled if my Easter basket was um, Marilyn Monroe. A lot of farmhouse decor came through the 99 cent store, and I did like this one. It says, there's no place like home. I like it because it is set against a matte black, and it looks like it's written on a chalkboard. And then I really did like the handle where it has, like, the faux green leaves. And this was only $1.99. So I thought, how cute. And, yeah, I mean, if I want to make it look um, Eastery, I can easily attach, like, a cute plaid bow or a gingham bow attach it right here on either side or in the middle so I mean that's something I could do if I wanted to and then I also found this and it says family makes this house a home and look how cute that handle is 
and they had three different styles, which I did post on our Instagram, and $2.99, and how cute is this? So these are the two that I did fall in love with, and if you have not checked out our haul from um, last week, over there, right there, my husband and I need to hang these up, you can see how I have like those window farmhouse ones. So I thought this is going to look really good because I'm redoing my kitchen and I want to do farmhouse. So I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing at the 99 and it is also budget friendly. So I did pick out the white and against the matte gray because that was my favorite. And I also like what it says, but um, again, go ahead and look at our Instagram and you'll see all of the different styles. Now, speaking of the window one, hold on. All right, these are the two styles that I hauled, and yes, this is from last week, and I am showing it for a reason. All right, these are the two styles I hauled, and on our Instagram, there is a third style. I just decided not to pick it up because I thought it would be overkill to have three of these hanging up in my kitchen. I do not have a big kitchen. So anyways, if you like these and you want to collect all three, go ahead and check out our Instagram because I did take pictures of the third style. All right, my friends. Oops, one more item. I absolutely love this loofah for I, for your face. I put it in my shower and I definitely recommend it. Um, I almost feel lost when I run out. I do try and keep a supply because like I said, I just like washing my face with this and just a personal preference. All right, my friends, this is our 99 cent store haul. And yes, oops, crystals tissue. Sorry about that. I have allergies. What can I say? Okay. Um, yeah, we are starting to haul Easter stuff. And like I said, I'm not going to, I don't want to be duping items, but I had to get, I know I do not have the rabbits and for less than five, I mean, they're $5 plus tax and they're just too cute. And I'm definitely digging the little bunny right there at the edge. And yeah, super, super stoked about the new farmhouse items that they got in. And I'm definitely glad I found the milk can. So all kinds of fun stuff did come through the 99 and as always, this is the channel to watch for all of the hottest items that do come through the 99 cent store. Um, I do apologize that we've been, I mean, I have been sick, which is why um, sometimes our social media is quiet, but I am feeling better and um, I think I'm going to be able to hit the 99, the 99s every day next week. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this haul. And as always, my friends, have a great day or a great evening. And I will be back on with Outfit of the Night because hopefully, um, if I feel up to it, my husband and I will be going out later on tonight. It's been a long time since we've gone out because I've been sick for so long. Anywho, I'm going to let you all go and let me know what you'd like to see more of in the comment section. And I appreciate all of the support. As always, my friends, thank you so very much. Also, do check out our Easter walkthrough. It is really good. And we also did post a grand opening of the Dollar Tree, which is